being be bewitched. Oh, read with me, please. Once, once the prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done. Guys, I imagined myself a week ago in Germany. Because somebody did to me black magic. And during the imagination, I saw myself walking with the brother Amir. And during the imagination, I saw myself walking with the brother Dennis. And through the imagination, I saw myself with many, many, many brothers. All it was under black magic. And how they did the black magic to the prophet? They took some hair from him. This is why we see many people, they are trying to be bold. I mean, it's very risky. Somebody take your hair. That would be a problem. So the prophet who said, if you eat seven ajwa, no magic will affect you and no poison will kill you. He himself was affected by both. And look, if we say to a Muslim Abdul, you're a prophet, the bewitched prophet, he will be insulted. Is that, is that true? If I say to a Muslim right now, you're a prophet, is the bewitched prophet, are you going to be insulted? Yes, you will be insulted. It's in the front of your eyes. You, you Muslim says that, not me. How in the world you Muslim follow a man he was bewitched? And not only that, he imagined that he had done a thing which, in fact, he did not. What does that mean? He, he thought he went to the bathroom, but he did not? Was it, what does that mean? He, he saw an angel, but it was not an angel. It was a cat. What does that mean? He heard Allah talking to him, but it was not Allah. It was the cow of the neighbor. What can, How I can follow a prophet? He imagined things. They are not true. And how many things he imagined? And why Allah allows such a thing to happen to Muhammad? So my friend, when the Muslim, they try to talk about something, obviously they have no idea what they are talking about. Oh, we have a caller, hold on. <laughs> 